Hey everybody, what's up? Nintenkid9-1 here, bringing you guys a Team Deathmatch Ground War gameplay on the map Prison Break. So today we are using the Honey Badger with the Grip and the FMJ attachments. For my perk setup, I am using Dead Silence. I'm using Marathon so I can get that unlimited sprint. I'm also using Scavenger because I, uh, you see I only have 90 rounds total in the gun right here. And then my last perk, which probably is the most uh, important for an assault rifle class, is Focus. And if you guys don't know what that perk is, it's the one that allows you to have less flinch when you get shot at while you're aiming down sight. So it helps you stay on target when you're in, uh, in a gun battle with somebody and he's hitting you. So right now, this gameplay... A lot of fun. I liked it. It's pretty good. It's the one that I've been holding out on you guys because it's, uh, it's a pretty good score and it's got a really nice helo pilot clip. So I'm going to go over a few tips on this map with you guys, mm -hmm. mainly routes that I like to take. Right off the bat, no matter what side I spawn on, whether it be C or A domination, I never go towards B dom. I always run through the construction site, which is exactly what I did in this clip. And what I like to do is get behind them and hang out kind of in this back area here between the guard tower and that truck on the right side of me right now that I'm looking at. Because a lot of times you, you run into people that are trying to get into the guard tower to snipe or you're just finding people that are running on the outskirts on the map to flank somewhere. So I like to just hang out in this area, patrol anybody that kind of runs across the construction site or anybody that runs through the back here. And you guys might say I'm camping a little bit or yeah, I don't know. People call this camping when you patrol an area or a, like a, a corner of the map. Really, I'm patrolling a side of the map because when you think of this map, it's like a square. So I'm patrolling a whole side. But notice when I get kind of real cautious and kind of slow moving, don't really move between this building and the other areas too much. Check the mini map during those parts because 90% of the time you will see that my team is either on the complete other side of the map or there is like nobody even near me on my team which obviously means I'm more prone to having the enemy spawn on me near me or just get shot from behind so I gotta watch all freaking 360 degrees of my character during those moments and what I like to do is just kind of be safe and cautious kind of slow it up a little bit until either my team spawns on me or I get some more support from my teammates in that area once I realize that say there's a bunch of them over here on the right I'm not gonna watch it as much because I I'll try to trust them or just figure that if anybody comes from over there that's on the enemy team my teammates will pick them off so that's one thing you guys need to really just have map aware awareness I can't even speak but have map awareness it's one of the biggest things that'll help you guys when you're trying to go for higher scores or getting those kill streaks. You just gotta have that map awareness. You gotta have the patience too to kind of wait for the enemy. I mean, if nobody comes for a whole 30 seconds, continue waiting. Don't be stupid and run out, especially when you're on like a five kill streak or something. Cause they they will come to you, especially if you're nowhere near the rest of your team. Your your chances of running into somebody are above 75 percent, I would say. So just play cautiously if, if you're going for those high gameplays you just got to change that rushing mindset you have to realize where you are relative to the rest of your team because that makes you more prone to the enemy being in that area or running through there so as you can see the enemy is mostly on uh, gonna be by B domination and watch this here is a nice Trinity rocket uh, I think I only got a double though I think the first guy got blast shield protected but this map trinity rockets very useful um the trinity rocket has been taking a lot of flack as of lately as a kill streak a lot of people say it is not worth using it at all and it's definitely not worth a seven you know what it can be worth a seven but it depends on the map that you use it on map like prison break there's really only two buildings you can hide in hide in one being the the watchtower and then the other one is that little building to the left of the a flag uh, it's like a little guardhouse type of deal. So those are really the two spots that you can hide. The other ones are the tunnels in the construction site or just hiding under a truck, but no one really goes under there. So the Trinity Rocket is pretty effective on this map, especially because most people hang out in that upper area between B Domination and the middle of the map. Now the Helo Pilot does mad work on this game too. Uh, because obviously it's a very open map. However, one of the things I need to test out, or you guys might already know, is is it better to let your battle hind fully use up its uh, its power or get shot down before you call in the helo pilot, or are you better off using both of them at once? I'm kind of in this uh, debate in my head right now, 
as of which would be the better thing to do. However, I really think using the Helo Pilot at as well as the Battle High End is better because it, you, I feel like you're getting more kills. And they really have nowhere to hide on this map. So as you guys can see, this teammate here was staring at me, scared the shit out of me when I came out of my Helo Pilot. Thought he was an enemy. But he leaves me so vulnerable in this tower because he's not even watching my back. And... I don't realize he gets killed, so or I, I didn't realize that guy was up there, so I lost my flawless opportunity right there. So, uh, it's frustrating. I have not yet gotten a high-scoring flawless gameplay yet. It's kind of been something I've always wanted, but I didn't get it this game. I thought I was going to. But everybody that was in the tower when I went into my helo pilot just vanished, and then that kid wasn't doing anything to help me. So, he, uh, he I blame him. No. I mean, I killed those two guys. I just couldn't get out of the tower. And I was so surrounded at that point. So it was a tough situation. I ended up taking the fall there. But anyways, we, we still got a pretty good score. And I think that Helo Pilot was great. Um, one thing I want to say is my KD as of lately has taken a dump. I used to have like a 1.663. It's dropped down to about a 1.612, I think, as of last night. Reason why is because I've been going for my gold guns lately. And uh, the lean kills, man. They, they reduced them from 100 to 50 and then the 25. And those things are deadly. I, I'm playing very careless when I go for my lean kills because really I just try to get all lean kills. Like I try to just purposely go behind an object if I see somebody to try to get that lean kill. And I've been getting some low scores because of it just because I want those gold guns. So I'm going to think, I think I'm going to start working on improving my KD a little more here now that I got some gold guns. And I will show those off for you guys. So the final score of this match was a whopping 38 and 1. Probably one of my better scores. Uh, it's not too high for a ground war, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.